What's up, guys? I'm here to do the Midsummer Island Adventures quest line. This is part two of this amazing quest line. Um, called uh, Midsummer Island Adventures Summer Vacation. Proceed with caution. So let's get started. First things first is I got a freaking what? Rest until morning, eight to ten. Okay. What do you mean? I'm still wearing the same ones. <laughs> so, how do we look? <laughs> we changed into summer clothes. Although we didn't come here to have fun, we don't want to miss out on a beautiful summer day by the sea. Wow, what a great tent. It's all covered in moss. This doesn't look great. weird, does it? <sighs> Such light and summery clothing definitely doesn't suit me. <laughs> uh, pardon me. You look marvelous. Really? <sighs> Thank you, Traveler. It's surprising that Master Jean would specially pack summer clothes. Oh, <laughs> no. My big sister would never pack these herself. Lisa and I picked them out for her. Learning a big sister and not even realizing it? Barbara's drunk on summer already. There's quite a story behind these summer clothes. I thought Lisa's pouch was to be used for an emergency. I didn't expect it to contain a set of summer clothing. All mm -hmm. these accessories, too. Definitely Lisa's handiwork. Everyone in the Knights of Favonius is always trying to have me take leave. I suppose I do push myself too much. Everyone, come over here. That's Clee's voice. I saw something weird. Huh? What's going on? What do you mean by something weird? Look at the ocean. See? There's something weird floating on the water. It's the statue. A narrow device. It seems to be a buoy. But we didn't see anything when we arrived here yesterday. <gasps> Dodo King must have put them there. Strange devices that just appear overnight? Something doesn't add up. Well, since he hasn't revealed himself to us, does that mean he's changed his mind? Or maybe... Maybe these buoys are a clue, and he's waiting for me to find him. So could that be why these buoys have suddenly appeared? Let's take a closer look and find out. Right. We won't solve anything by guessing on shore. Is it okay to go out there, though? Perhaps. But we must investigate the buoys regardless. It's hard to say what will be waiting for us at sea. Just in case, prepare yourselves for combat. Once you are ready, please assemble here, and we'll head over on the boat together. That's our Master Jean. Uh, not at all. This is... just my duty. Now then, I'll entrust the preparation efforts to all of you. Man, them clothes, man. Some good old clothes, and for only $24.99, you can get your own set of beautiful Summer Island wear. $24.99. Hmm. Wouldn't it be tragic if someone bought Jean's clothes, thinking they'd also get Jean, and they don't get Jean, but they have Jean's clothes? That'd be pretty tragic. All right. Mm -hmm. Is there anything I can do? About this archipelago. I just want to say that the ocean here is beautiful. Sea and sun. Oh, a summer dream come true. I really want to have a seaside performance. It would be amazing. I just know it. Hmm. What could those buoys possibly mean? About this archipelago. These islands are isolated from the outside world. Like a secret domain crafted by nature itself. We were guided here by the letter, and with the assistance of Venti and Devalin. Everything seems a bit too serendipitous. I'm a little concerned. But I'm here to protect you all, so please don't worry. Come what may, I will face it head on. Good to know, Jean. Thank you. Thank you, Jean. Thank you. Hmm. I need to bring Jumpy Dumpties, Doloko, and myself. About the voice. King must have placed those things in the 
ocean. He's a bad guy. But I will bravely face him and do my best for Donoko. Mr. Better. Honorary Knight, thank you for helping me. It's my duty. I wonder what happens if she loses her backpack. Like, that thing's gotta be heavy and she's just carrying around all the time and her vision's on it. <laughs> oh, hey. We can't let the size of the ocean intimidate us. We have to at least try. You think we haven't tried before? We can't afford to lose anyone else. All right. Report to Jean. <laughs> have you finished your preparations? Uh, I mean, I guess. Great. <sighs> then let's head to the boat. I did not actually mean to have... Ah! Ready for a rehearsal? Vroom vroom! We're gonna start with this one. Oh, you gotta break it? It looks like something sunk down to the seabed. Maybe it's the buoy's energy that released when it was destroyed. So they really were set up by Dodo King. Let's keep going. All right. Tsunami. The sound. I saw that from Zelda when the tower comes up in Wind Waker. It's exactly what this is. It's from Zelda. Stolen. Stolen. <laughs> What's happening? That was weird, though. Huh. And there's only three towers, just like in Zelda. And it was kind of like a triangle. Wow. Wait a minute. Uh, this whole stretch of land just rose out of the water. Are you telling me that I gotta oh <laughs> <laughs> Dodo King, Dodo King, I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> Looks like Cree's as energetic as ever. Before the ground started shaking, I heard the sound of machinery. I believe there may be an immense mechanical structure under this region of the ocean. With the entire archipelago situated on a mechanical framework, it could be activated to raise each island from beneath the water. Something like that would be nothing short of a miracle. Could it be the power of the Animo Archon Barbados? Hmm, probably not. Paimon feels like this is more likely a deliberate setup. It's incredible no matter how you think of it. Using a letter to draw us here, and these challenges involving various mechanisms? <sighs> the so-called Dodo King is no amateur. I concur. Aww. There goes the holiday mood. Hmm. Well, either way, I will do my best <laughs> to remain she's got a, vigilant. She's got a duck on her jeans. Wow. I mean, clothes. Master Jean's so cool when she's determined. Paimon and I will also exercise our increased... <laughs> Thank yeah, you for your understanding. Oh no. You wanted Klee to come find you, so here Klee comes. 
Jumpy Dumpties, get ready! Let's go! Jumpy Dumpty. Is that <laughs> a platform in the middle of the ocean? Something has appeared. Everyone, we can take a closer look, but please be on guard. I should really use the traveler just so I can like feel like I'm. You no, know, one day I'll actually level up a traveler. Maybe I should level up a traveler. Huh. Oh, hey, more stuff. Uh. Do do do. What am I doing? I'm over here trying to freaking fly all the way over there. That's not gonna work. I'll take the boat. And getting to the top is gonna. Uh, where's the boat at? I gotta do it again. <laughs> Here we go. We're sailing away. Got a lot of treasure chests to get. Looks like they're all common though, and some like. Low mid mid low tier whatever. By the way, there are some other events that come along with uh, this 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 thing, but I just wanted to do the main story for now. Oh look, there's one in the water. I had been marking some of the islands that I actually visited already and got the treasure chest, but it looks like it, it's pointless because I'm gonna have to do it again because now the islands are even bigger. How are they not freaked out by the mask? <laughs> is that a really tall person? I'd be like, I gotta go. It resembles a human, but something's not quite right. Dodo King, I see you! You can, uh, ar ar arbi arbitrate! Right, you can arbitrate Klee! Uh, what is this kid saying? She obviously doesn't understand what that word means. Hey, Dodo King! Why are you ignoring me? Is it because I took too long and made you angry? Then I'm sorry. Huh? And now she's apologizing. <laughs> oh, didn't see that coming. Hello, Dodo King? It looks like they're not interested in Klee at all. It's some kind of humanoid machine. No response. It must be damaged. Oh, do you recognize it? No, I can only guess. It looks completely out of place on this island. Look at its clothes. Huh, it appears like it came from Inazuma. Mm. Inazuma? But isn't that really far away? So this machine isn't from around here? It would appear so. This area of the sea is independent and does not border any country, so it certainly seems out of place here. But given Inazuma's current situation, how could something like this occur? An abandoned machine? Weird. Did someone bring it here? Oh no, Dodo King isn't moving anymore. Klee, maybe Dodo King is tired. Right, right! Bruh. The Dodo King is probably asleep. He was waiting so patiently for you, and then... Ah! Nap time. <laughs> Let's go with Klee to play elsewhere and come back once Dodo King wakes up. Really? Of course. No, I get it now. This isn't Dodo King. The real Dodo King is somewhere else. Huh. Is that right? I won't give up. Dodo King, just wait. We'll find you. You don't even know what he looks like. And there like. she goes! Again! Oh, she's got a lot of spirit. Klee, wait for us!
Oh look, two shells. Examine your environment. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. That teleport tante. Huh, interesting. You're very perceptive. Hey, you're embarrassing me. Hmm. <laughs> the only other thing around here is that machine in Inazuman clothing. Oh, could the memorial be for the machine? Uh, perhaps it once performed some deed that merited a memorial. Hmm. Everything we've seen here indicates that there was once a human presence in these waters. Still, there isn't enough for us to infer what kind of civilization it was. <sighs> and up to now, we still have yet to see any people or gravestones. Master Jean, can I go over there and have a look? Yes, but be careful. Okay. How many secrets do these islands hold? Klee is too young to have a proper sense of danger. Traveler, the rest of us must stay alert to the situation. Honestly speaking, I thought that letter was only a prank at first. That's what we thought! I suspected as much too, but who would send a prank letter to a child? A letter that guides us to activate mechanisms on a deserted archipelago. It's bizarre. It makes me wonder whether this isn't some kind of trap long in the making. We must keep our guard up. Miss Barbara? Clee, what's wrong? Do you think that Dodo King doesn't want to see Klee? Why would the Dodo King not want to see you, Klee? Dodoko loves me, and and I love Dodoko, so Dodo King can never separate us. That's why Dodo King doesn't want to see us. <laughs> Klee doesn't want him to separate us. <laughs> hey, Klee, do you know what this is? Whoa. It's a hard past him. I heard my big si uh, Master Jean say that Klee always wanted to play hard past him, right? Yeah, Klee was just thinking about Ludi hard past him. I made this hard past him especially for you. Now, every day can be Ludi hard past him. <laughs> Yay! The kindness of a deaconess. So keep your chin up, Klee. After we meet Dodo King, we can all help you convince him to let you and Dodo Ko stay together. Okay. Let's throw our efforts. We have to go find him. Yeah. Leave it to us, Klee. No this triple. Dodo Jerk can't hide forever. Even if it takes a thousand years and a thousand searches. Uh, d we'll get him. <clears throat> but until then... Let's have a good look around the area. To be continued. Was that? Ah, part three. All right. Well, since it wants to start the next part, I will. Well, I guess I'll read this first since it already popped up. Observe the direction of wind to steer. Wave right along the correct course to the world. Oh, this has to do with the uh, events. You know what? Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's all. Part two. Uh, stay tuned for part three. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Thank you.